Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you think you are bored with your starters, this is the one for you. We are going to make stuffed mushrooms today. You will have to give some effort to make it, but once you make it, it is delicious. You will just love it. So let's get started. Deep fried stuffed mushrooms, a unique recipe for your family and friends. I got inspired by this recipe 10 years ago and since then I fell in love with it and I'm sure you will. To make stuffed mushrooms, we need to take button mushrooms and wash them very nicely. We need to remove the outer layer of the mushrooms and clean them and separate them from the stems. These are the caps and we are going to fill these caps with the stuffing we will prepare during the recipe. We are not going to throw the stems away because they are completely edible and we are going to use them for our stuffing. So we'll just keep both these things separately to start with. We'll take all the stems and we will chop them very finely and keep them ready for the stuffing. The stems are finely chopped now and ready for the stuffing. To prepare the stuffing, we will take around 2 tablespoons of oil in a pan. Once the oil is hot, we will add 2 tablespoons of finely chopped garlic. Be generous with the amount of garlic. It enhances the aroma of your recipe. To that, we will add finely chopped chilies. I am using red chilies. You can use any. Make sure they are finely chopped. Once it is sorted well, we will add one finely chopped onion to it and let them saute for few seconds. We will add the chopped mushroom stems to it and give them a good mix. Let them cook on a high flame for around 2 to 3 minutes. Please do not cook them on a low flame. We need to cook them well and we want all the moisture to be absorbed. We will add salt to taste. Once all the moisture is absorbed and it becomes dry, we will transfer the stuffing into a bowl and let it cool. Add 2 to 3 tablespoons of grated cheese to the stuffing. Mix it well to form a dough and keep it aside. To prepare the batter, we need to take a cup of maida or all-purpose flour. Add 2 tablespoons of corn flour to it. Add salt to taste. Little bit of red chilli flakes. Start adding water gradually and mix it uniformly to form into a thick batter. Here we need a very thick batter so be careful while adding the water. Add little water and mix it well. As you can see, the batter looks nice and thick right now. This is exactly what we want. We will take the mushroom caps and fill them with the stuffing nicely. Then dip them in the batter completely from all sides and coat it with a layer of breadcrumbs. The layer should be nice and thick. If required, please use your fingers to make it into a firm ball and keep it aside. We are going to repeat the process for all the mushroom caps which we have. And keep them aside. If you want to know how to make bread crumbs, 
please refer to my crispy bread cutlet recipe once all the balls are ready we will keep them in the refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes and let them set I have taken them out of the refrigerator. They look nice and firm and ready to be fried. Make sure the oil is not very hot and the flame is on medium. You can start putting the mushroom balls into the oil for deep frying. Please keep this on low to medium flame uh, while frying it. If you put it on high flame they will get burned from outside they will look brown but they will not cook from inside once the balls are brown on one side we will flip them and fry them on the other side again we will keep the flame from low to medium our stuffed mushrooms are ready now So let us remove them from the oil and start plating them guys. They look absolutely delicious. Aren't they? Our stuffed mushrooms look absolutely exotic. They look delicious. Brown and crispy. You can serve them as evening snacks. or you can kick start your weekend dinner with them